Okay, so more 6502 emulator. I think this time we'll do some easy stuff. Register transfers. This is just transfer the accumulator to X to Y, transfer X to the accumulator and Y to the accumulator. And these have virtually no addressing modes. Yeah, they don't really, because they don't read anything from memory. There's only one way to do them and that's just do it. And all we've got to do is make sure we take the correct number of cycles and set the zero and negative flags appropriately so these should be really easy let's see how quick we can get through these so first thing we're going to do is just make a unit test file to set up the unit tests for these Right, so I've just copied an old test here to get started from. So first thing we want to do is we'll just call this one TAX for now. In fact, we could just call it, could we just call it TAX? Because really that's all it really does. <clears throat> let's, yeah, let's keep that the way it is. Um, we'll put something, so this transfers the A register to the X. Transfers the contents of the accumulator to the X register. Okay, so let's stick something in the A register. Let's stick 42 and hex in the A register. Let's make sure we set the X register up with just something in it. I don't know, just to make sure it's got something in to start with. And I won't fall into this trap this time of, we're gonna make sure that the zero Let's just see. Um, the zero flag is going to be affected. I'm going to say that's going to be true. And the negative flag is also going to be true. <clears throat> uh, so this is TAX of uh, non negative. So TX can transfer a non-negative, non-zero value. Yep, let's try that. And the instruction's gonna be just TX, and there's only one dressing mode, so it's just TAX. And we don't need anything else in memory after that. So we don't need this, we don't need this, and we don't need that. Wow, that's really it, and it expects two cycles. So, whoa, yeah. <clears throat> so we expect the A register to still be 42 because that's not supposed to change. We expect the X register to also be 42. Um, we expect, we expect the zero flag because the value that we put in there is not zero. We expect the zero flag to be false and we expect the negative flag also to be false because bit 11 isn't set so I think that's a good test that won't build yet but let me put this instruction opcode in oops where do you live opcodes here you are um, yeah, TAX is AA. I'm going to put TAY in. Just, I'm just going to put more than one here. TS, oops, TSX. Uh, I've done that one. Is that, I think that's one we've done. It? It's TXA we want. TXA is 8A and TYA is 98. Right, so back to the task. Does that compile? Nope, I'm missing something here. Oh, an extra comma. Right, okay, so that's a good test. Let's do the same test with 
with a non-negative zero value. So if a is zero, uh, at the end of this test, the a register should still be zero, and the x register should st should now also be zero. The zero flag should be true, and negative should be false. Uh, so let's set the zero flag to false as the opposite. And let's do the same test again. This time can transfer a negative value. So the negative value is, I think we've just got to make sure it's something with the that bit set there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So any value, as long as it's got that bit set, qualifies. Um, so we'll set the zero flag to true, set the negative flag to false, and at the end of this one, negative flag should be true, zero flag should be false, because it's not zero. We're expecting the A register to be this weird byte value, and the X register should also be the weird byte value. So I think that's, I've said this before, but I think that's three pretty good tests for that. Uh, we could also test that, uh, t uh, we could also test the unaffected registers. So, hmm, should we do that? We might as well because we've got these, yeah, all the other registers just shouldn't be affected by this. Maybe it's worth testing. Um, let's call this expect um, and we could just pass in the CPU copy for that uh, let's just say it's the CPU before Yeah, let's do that. So now we can just put some tests in here. So what are the flags? Carry flag, whatever the carry flag was before, we expect it to be the same as it is after. So we can just put in the, however many we've got. Interrupt, should be the same, should be infected. Uh, Decimal mode should be unaffected. Break should be unaffected. And overflow should be unaffected. So we can just slap that down at the bottom of each one of these. Oh, I need to pass it in the CPU copy before we did it. Right. If that's the case, we should have three failing tests. And um, we do, We've got three failing tests. Uh, so let's implement this. Now, I'm hoping this is gonna be really, really easy, but let's just see. Uh, let's go. Is it TAX I'm doing? So, TAX, it takes the a register and puts it in the X. It actually says it there. It's literally, that's what it says. We do that and I think we consume a cycle for doing it. Uh, we consume a cycle for doing that operation. And to be fair, we do actually have to, um, we do actually have to, is it load register set status? Will that do what we want? that will set the zero and negative flag. So we've already got a function that can do what we want in terms of setting the registers as well. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Let's see if that passes the three tests. If it does, we're good to go. And we are. So that was incredibly easy. Um, let's do exactly the same thing for y. They, this is going to be exactly the same except with the y register. 
So I'm actually just going to copy these three. This is where you get confused because it's one, two, three, they've got the wrong names. T-A-Y, T-A-Y. So let's just do the same three tests except it's the Y register and it's the Y register. And I think everything else, oh, and it's the Y register there as well. Same thing, Y register, Y register, and Y register. And again, Y register, Y register, and Y register. Right, should have three more failing tests. That was super, super quick. Right, excellent. And we can implement that one. And it's going to be, it's going to be transfer A to Y. So A equals Y. And we set the status for the Y register. Is that going to make our test pass? Yep. So that's three more. Excellent. So we got through, got through two more of those instructions. So the next one, again, very similar to the next one, except it's transfer X to A. So I think we just keep going. These ones are quite trivial. Absolutely trivial. Um, let's copy those. So I am duplicating a lot of tests here, but I think what the hell here. Um, what have we got? T, X, A. T, X, A. T, X, A. T, X, A. So these ones, we want a value in the X register and we want to put it in the A register. So value in the X register shouldn't change. Oh, that's a bit of a weird, what was going on there? Oh yeah, value in the X register shouldn't change. Value in the A register should be 42. That's exactly what we wanted. So it's the X register and the A register and then it's X and A. Same thing here. X register, A register. X register, A register. Right. That's, oh, that one's, yeah, that's right, I think. Should have three more failed tests. Okay. So again, this one, super simple. T, X, A. So we transfer the X register to the A register. Whoops. X register to the A register. And status is from the A register. Uh, we're passing that one. We are. Right, one more. <laughs> this is just, this one's been absolutely way too easy, hasn't it? It's just been way, way too easy. So let's do three more tests. So this one is TYA, TYA, TYA. And TYA. So transfers the Y register to the, and transfers the Y register. Transfers the Y, transfers the Y, transfers the Y, and transfers the Y. Right, that's three more tests, hopefully. All right, and um, we can implement that one. And this one is going to be TYA is going to be super simple. That's going to be a Y instead of the X. And I think we are done. Yep, we are done with the transfer registers. So I don't know how quick we did that, but that's probably the fastest one yet. But what it does mean is we've got load and store, we've got register transfers, we've got stack operations, we've got logical operators and We've got jumps and calls. So we're, we're starting to miss some of the more complicated ones now. Arithmetic's quite complicated. Maybe increment and decrement is a bit more complicated. Branching and interrupts and stuff. But uh, we've got to get through them all. So this one just got through some of the easy stuff. Next time, don't know what we're going to go for. Just pick another group of these and try and get through them. So move on with that in the next one.